This is Four Mile Creek State Park. It's in um, Niagara, New York. And this is Lake Ontario. There's no swimming beach at this at the state park, but there is apparently on Ni at Niagara State Park. We didn't stay there because they have no water or electricity. So Lake Ontario is 193 miles wide. Well, the length actually. The average depth is 283 feet. And water stays here about six years before it flows out. Lake Ontario gets the outflow of the other four great lakes from the Niagara River, which I think is amazing. They said, we were reading, they said you have to be very careful about walking to the edge because if you can see on the side that bluff, the water undercuts it and it hits up against the lower part, hits up, hits up, hits up, and then you step out there one day and the top goes down from underneath you. So I'm not going to go over there. It's not deep right here, but I think the fall would hurt. I'm amazed at the size of the Great Lakes. I mean, when you look over here, it just seems to go on and on and on. Over to the left here, you can see some building in the distance, but otherwise, nothing. It's just water. We were going to go into Buffalo, the canal, canal side today. They have shops and ice cream and stuff like that and there is one or two places that you can take the dog but it was crazy traffic and there were so many detours they were doing so much road work so we actually drove by Lake Erie I'm counting it as one of the Great Lakes I've seen so that I can say I've seen all five Great Lakes or I will have seen all five Great Lakes I don't know if that's cheating or not you can tent camp here, RV, or rent a yurt, which we can't see inside because the blinds are down. Some of them have the blinds up, but we're afraid maybe somebody is camping in there. Although there were no cars. We'll see. We may get to peek in. This is the view inside the yurt. I don't know how much you can see. That's a skylight, it's not open at the top. 